Hey guys, this video is about cleaning the slime of snails. We will go from this to this and finally to this. First, we will break the snail shells and for that you will need a blunt object and a pointed tool. Hit the shell hard to break it up. Then use the pointed tool to push the snail till it comes off the other end. Remove the tiny pieces of shells at the point where the snail attaches itself to the shell. Be careful when doing this because the tiny shells can be sharp. Remove the intestines. And finally, fill the snail to make sure that there are no tiny shells left behind. This is the slime that we will be removing later. Repeat the process for the rest of the snails and we are ready to remove the slime. We can remove snail slime with salt. Pour the salt all over the snails. Rub and rub till the slime is gone. You will need a lot of salt to clean a bowl of snails. You can also use gari. It's the same process as that of salt. So if you have lots and lots of gari at your disposal, you can use it. Lime, lemon, and alum. I'll show my preferred way of removing snail slime, which is with a combination of lemon and alum. Lemon and lime are pretty much the same, but lemon is a little bit more effective than lime. So that's why I use lemon and alum. While lemon is more efficient, alum is more effective. So I squeeze the lemon on the bowl of snails. While the lemon is working on the slime, I use the blunt side of a knife to scrape off the brown stains on the snails. Then use the half moon cut of the lemons to rub the snails till all the slime is gone. When done, rinse and continue with alum. Alum gives the snails a squeaky clean, but it is not efficient for cleaning a large quantity of snails. That's why I cut the slime with lemon first, then use alum for a squeaky clean. Alum is also small, so it can get to parts of the snail where lemon cannot reach, especially inside the tongue. When it feels squeaky clean, rinse very well. Cut the tongue of the snail like this. And clean the exposed area with alum. again in plenty of cool water to remove all traces of alum from the snails. Once you rinse very well, the alum will not change the taste of the snails. When done, it is ready to be used for peppered snail and in various Nigerian soups recipes, especially bitter leaf soup, ora soup, ofo were. Bye bye!